Hey guys, me again. This time around I'm going to show you a close-up of the modular building set that I had previewed earlier. This set is designed so that you can build stackable buildings of any height really that you want. So everything from a single story building through a 20 story skyscraper you could build on your tabletop. Each of the buildings comes with different fronts and sides to allow you, and I bumped the camera so I'm sorry about that, um, to allow you to modify them and change them so that they're, each one is kind of is different. A lot of the building sets that are out there, the one thing that I find kind of annoying is no matter how you build them, they all look the same. They, they don't give you enough pieces and enough options to make the buildings look unique. So one thing I did with this set was keep that in mind and try and give you as many options as possible. So what I'm going to do is start off by tearing some of these down so you can see what they look like, what each of the modules look like. So this would be, and I'll try and get this centered, this would be kind of an upper story module. In the case of the upper story module, it's going to come with varying wi window patterns that go all the way around. So you've got a wide window, this, the two window on the side, and then a two up at the rear. There's also a, in the, in the set will be a second two up, and I'll do that that way and see if it shows up a little bit better. So it's a little bit different pattern. So, and this set would come with three side pieces, and then, or three front pieces, I guess, front and back, so you can do different options, and then two matching end plates. So that way you can fine tune them and get some adjustments on them. The tops do come off, so they are open. If you really wanted to, you could actually finish them out and build additional stuff on the inside. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do an engraved pattern on the inside of these. I don't know, it may not be necessary. Um, I'll let your feedback decide on if I do a pattern on the inside. But they are textured, so in this one we've got the little step down for the window and then just some additional lines on the sides of it. I'll go ahead and put this top back on. I'm trying to do this and get it all lined back up while I'm on camera is not exactly the easiest thing, but that's okay. okay. I think I get that one all the way down. Alright, there we go. But that would be it. So it's kind of nice. Um, as an option, if you wanted to, if I was finishing these off, and what I'm probably going to do with these on my own table is I'm going to get some clear acetate. You know, there's some clear material to put behind these so that they're not they're not open windows, but that way you get a little bit different look for them. But that would be an upper floor module. You have pull support ring off. You have a base floor module, which is what this one would be. So this is one example of it, where you're going to have two windows, single offset door. Again, two side windows, and then there is a a large rear window one. There's also, though, if I wanted to do something a little bit different with this one, there's also a double door module. So in the case of this one, what this is is just a double door opening, and then it comes with removable doors. So those are doors that just blew in from the back. Same thing with this front door. So the front door comes with the textured door. And actually, I think it comes with about two or three different styles of door, depending. I've got to remember on this kit. I know it comes with at least two, but I think it's three in the kit. Um, there is a door surround, so you've got a little bit of a step up there. So just give it a little bit more detail. And again, it's another open interior that if you wanted to, you can do other stuff with. Pop that one. I'll set that one aside rather than putting it back on top. The last module in the initial release is this one. This is kind of a basement storage type module. So with this one, you get two types of doors, the same door we saw before in the first kit, as well as the roll-up style door. But this one would be kind of a storage locker type thing. So you've got four doors across. Um, this one, this kit will come with solid sides as opposed to no, as opposed to sides with windows like you have on the other ones. And then there's also a side panel with two double garage doors. So this one, if you're doing like an objective-based game or something along those lines, this would be a great kind of storage objective. One other nice thing with it is if you're wanting buildings that grant cover, because a lot of these with the windows, unfortunately, they don't, I mean, you can see from one side to the other. 
So you can see all that blue behind it. You can see from one side to the other. So yeah, they'll get a cover save, but there are times that you want to build a you want a building where you've got a nice hard cover save. And that's what this one would be. It also includes a blank. So with this kit, you'd also get the the four door one, the two door garage one, and then you also get a blank one. So if you wanted to, and I'll see if that'll try to tilt this. So there you go. So it shows up a little bit better on the camera. You also get a blank one that follows the same pattern, so you don't have to do them in those configurations. By giving you the three door options, it it allows you to free some stuff up and make them however you want. Last pieces are each one of them comes with a spacer ring for connecting units together, and they're also a larger base, so I've done a larger base for it as well. What the larger base does is it basically raises it up slightly, and the reason for that is, and I will go ahead and let's put one of these together with the larger base on it. Let me get this top plate back in, and we'll pull this one out so we can get this back in. There we go. I'm going to do it on time. So put the larger, so it's on the larger base. But what I also did was a topper for the larger base. So in the case of that one, I did two different versions of the topper. One is a, oops, it's just a plain thick with a little overhang. All right. And in the overhang, there's a option to put a sign, and I'll try and hard for you. To, unfortunately, these are hard to show up on the camera. It's just a sign, and it hangs up there to give it a little, a little bit more character, a little more options. So this would be one additional large base option. But there's also another one, and what that one is, is this one. Now this one looks a little odd, but if you remember the walkway kits that I did, this actually ties into those. So you could actually use one of these as a base for one of the walkways, which is kind of nice. So if you're building a multi-level setup, you can, and you can build some larger buildings. Again, with the, in the case of this one, it does include a little support ring in here. So just as you could before with the other stacking ring, you can put those in. I'll try and line this up on camera. It never fails when you're trying to do these on camera that everything doesn't line up on the first shot. There we go. Slide down. Okay. So that would be adding that level, and if I wanted to go higher, add another ring, line that up, right. oops, wrong ring, that would explain, that's one of the thick rings, I need one of the thin rings, there we go, thin ring, and I could put another level on top, and I could keep going up if I wanted to, so I could go ahead and add that on top. And this could be a standalone building. I mean, it's just a matter of adding a railway or something in the front of it. And you've got a fairly tall building to start with. Well, other things you can do, and I'm going to take this, because that didn't even show up on the camera, so let me go way up there. Yeah, you can see that that is a really tall building. If I grab a, let's grab a, or my crew, why not? They're easy to get to. So if I grab a normal size fig, and he's, it's a pretty tall building there. But rather than stop it there, I also did some other parts to go with. So what I can do, so I've got the building with the ring. I did these little things. What these are are little corner sign blocks that you could put on upper levels. So I could add a, and I'll try and turn this around so it faces the camera a little bit better. And we'll angle this up. But I've now got little corner sign blocks if I wanted to that I could put on there to help again to customize the buildings. It's all about the customization and you can actually do the buildings however you're wanting. Um, the signs that will come with the kit, there will be I think these come with just the second level kit right now but they can't, you can get them separately. So, so all of these little signs like this are only, they're normal in the second level kit, but in some of the others, whoops, it's not glued on. In some of the other kits, I'll probably have additional. But that's kind of the preview of it. I will go ahead and get some better pictures up on the website, and if you want to check them out, just go ahead and log on. Well, that's my time for now. Talk to you guys later.